back to another reaction of Supernatural. Absolutely. Season 1, episode 7. I think this is called Hookman. So, somebody did comment down below either on the last reaction, the reaction before that, or a reaction before that. I don't know. I'm just kind of remembering it right now. That if I could put out more Supernatural uh, reactions a week, it's going to be hard for me. One Man Band over here. I love that you guys are loving these Supernatural reactions. I love this show. I do not mind taking my time with this show and diving down with each and every single episode. As long as you guys are here by the ending of every season, we'll go on to the next season. Absolutely, have no fear. Um, so, yeah, so it's a little hard and this week has been crazy. And some, for my, for my uh, work, regular work, um, it's been the same. So, and that happens often, right? So my job will be, I work for the federal government, so it gets insane at times, and I just can't, ha I just don't have the energy to come home and film and edit. So bear with me as we get through these episodes, but we're here with another one. So if you would like to see this in full reaction, it will be available. The links are down below. Patreon, YouTube channel memberships. Click one, click both. Join our extended family today. Now, without further ado, let's jump into Supernatural and find out exactly what this show has got to give. What do you think? Beautiful! Um, oh god, too much Remember to not. do it. No, if this is really me. <laughs> Lori, there's a hot chick buried somewhere in there. So, okay. Damn, girl, he's not gonna know what hit him. Damn, girl. I think he's probably downstairs. I'll see you later. I thought we were going to the party. Well, we can't arrive what? on time. I think you brought me here on purpose. What? I think so. I'm offended. He's cute. You wanna get that? Definitely not. Never mind. No. It's okay. Is this like Scream or what's that movie with the hook guy and the fish? Whatever. Hey, I mean it. Rich, no! No, no, no drive away! What? Who would do this? What the hell? Rich, let's go! Is the window rolled up, girl? I mean, he just smashed the windows. Ah! You saw that yell? <laughs> I had him check the FBI's missing persons data bank. No John Doe's fitting that's description. I'm telling you, I don't think Dad wants to be found. Me either. Check this out. The mutilated body was found near the victim's car, parked on Nine Mile Road. It's all eyewitness whose name has been withheld. Is quoted as saying the attacker was invisible. Doesn't mean it's the invisible man. But what if it is? <laughs> Dad would check it out. So he only killed the girl. Right the victim lived here. Oh. Fraternity Brothers from Ohio. We're new in town. Transfers. Do me a favor. Get my back. No. The game. We're on. We heard one of the guys around here got killed last week. They're saying some psycho with a knife. Maybe a drifter passing through. Rich was with somebody. Not just somebody. He was a spot. Just down there in the back. Super hot. And get this. She's a reverend's daughter. Because I believe he died trying to protect my daughter. Reflect on what this tragedy means to us as a church. A life unlived is the saddest of passings. The power to protect our children. Amen. Nobody else? We're going to do tequila shots and watch reality bites. My Girl. dad makes dinner every Sunday night. She's a bad influence, this lady. Are you Lori? She is. Yeah. We just transferred here uh, to the university. I saw you inside. I don't know what you're going through. I I saw someone get hurt. Dad, um, this is Sam and Dean. They're new students. It's so nice to find young people who are open to the Lord's message. What are the police saying? Well, they don't have a lot to go on. 
I was so scared. I guess I was seeing things. So you believe her? I do. Yeah, I think she's hot, too. She heard scratching on the roof, found the bloody body, suspended upside down. One of the most famous urban legends ever. You don't think that we're dealing with the hookman? Every urban legend has a source. Maybe the hookman isn't a man at all. What if it's some kind of spirit? Arrest records going back to 1851. So you spent four good years of your life, huh? Welcome to higher education. 1862, a preacher named Jacob Carnes was arrested for murder. Some of the deceased were found in their beds, sheets soaked with blood. Others suspended upside down from the limbs of trees. Looks like the preacher lost his hand in an accident. Had it replaced with a silver hook. Nine Mile Road. Same place where the frat boy was killed. Oh. Good job, Sammy Ammy Ams. <laughs> I worry about you. So do I. There are 22 girls in there. Drinking, partying with that roommate of yours. I'm Woo! an adult. I can take care of myself. Sorry. Good night, deacon or father or priest or whoever you are. What? You sort of... Taylor, are you awake? No, girl. She dead asleep. She's like this. Taylor, are you awake? <laughs> If it is a spirit, Buckshot won't do much good. Yeah. Uh, Rock's on. It won't kill him, but it'll slow him down. You don't have to be a college graduate to be a genius. It's not a spirit. It's somebody. Get your hands behind your head. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Okay, okay. Now get out on your knees. Come on, do it. Now get it out of your bellies. Come on, do it. He had the gun. your ass talk to sheriff down to a fine dude i'm matlock you were hunting ghosts and the spirits are repelled by rock salt you know typical hell week prank again girl Lori's not connected to two murders and i can't ignore that arrest her now or let me take her home sweetheart you're ready to go home Okay. I feel like a father's connected to this. This is a long way from Nine Mile Road. Maybe he's not haunting the scene of his crime. Maybe it's about something else. Damn, Sammy and Yams. Oh, sorry. Hey, be quiet. Me be quiet. You be quiet. <laughs> That's crazy. Why'd you click? You didn't turn on the light. That's right out of the legend. Does that look familiar to you? What? Seems like it is the spirit of Jacob Carnes. Jacob Carnes was laid to rest in an old North Cemetery in an unmarked grave. We know it's Jacob Carnes, but we still don't know where he'll manifest next. I'll take a wild guess about why. I think your little friend Lori has something to do with this. Man, you can hold out on me. This college thing is awesome. Library, studying, straight A's. 1932, clergyman arrested for murder. There's a pattern here. In both cases, the suspect was a man of religion who openly preached against immorality. What's the connection to Lori? A man of religion who openly preaches against immorality? Reverend Sorensen. You think he's summoning the spirit? Maybe. Spirit latches onto the Reverend's repressed emotions, feeds off them, yeah? Without the Reverend ever even knowing. I'm gonna go see if I can find that unmarked grave. Good luck. Unmarked grave! Where are you? Not marked. Damn, he looks hey. good. Next <laughs> time, I get to watch the cute girl's house. Hello, preacher. I saw you from upstairs. I'm keeping an eye on the place. You're sweet, which is probably why you should. Run away from me as fast as you can. It's like I'm cursed or something. People around me keep dying. I think I know how you feel. Oh, he is bold. Rest in peace. Bye, Richard. That's not the end. It's just the beginning. The sheriff thinks I'm a suspect. And you know what my dad will say? Pray. He's seeing a woman, a married woman. 
She comes to our church with her husband. That's I horrible. know her kids. Raise me to believe that if you do something wrong, you will get punished. Match that the father dies next? Don't touch my man, woman. Hey, what? Back up. Sam? All right, I can. Come in when I'm ready. Oh! oh no, please, please, go! Okay, Dad, it's okay. It's okay. Maury's dad came out, and then he appeared. A big man. So it seems every time I turn around, I'm seeing you. I just got here. Oh, it's, it's all right. I'm with him. That's my brother. That's... Hey, brother. Back up. Back up. Wait. You saw him? Damn right. Why didn't you torch the bones? You're talking about I did. I don't think the spirit is latching onto the reverend. Well, yeah, the guy wouldn't send the hook man after himself. Last night, she found out that her father is having an affair with a married woman. She told me she was raised to believe if you do something wrong, you get punished. Latching onto her repressed emotions and maybe he's doing the punishing for her, huh? Right. But I burned those bones. I buried them in salt. Why didn't that stop him? Did you get the hook? It was the murder weapon, and in a way, it was part of him. Find the hook. We stop the hook man. Get the hook! Logbook, Iowa State Penitentiary, Carnes, Jacob, personal effects. Upon execution, all earthly items shall be remanded to the prisoner's house of worship, St. Barnabas Church. Maybe that's why the hook man's been haunting reverends and reverends' daughters for the past 200 years. Check the church records. Church records, here we come. St. Barnabas, donation. They melted it down. Made it into something else. <laughs> all right, we can't take any chances. Anything silver goes in the fire. I agree. Stay out of her underwear drawer. <laughs> Everything that even looks silver. Understood. Sorry. I've been trying to understand what's been happening. Why? Don't you see? I'm to blame for all this. Part of me wanted him punished. And then he came and he punished him. I killed Rich. Taylor, too. I nearly killed my father. They didn't deserve to be punished. I do. I think he's trying to kill her now. I thought we got all the silver. So did I. Then why is he still here? Well, maybe we missed something. It was a church heirloom. He gave it to me when I started school. Is it silver? Yes! What? That was crazy. <laughs> Man with the hook. Yes, I told you. We all saw him. We, we fought him off and then he ran. You and your brother. Oh, don't worry. We're leaving town. <laughs> I do know you saved my life. He my did. father's too. Mm -hmm. Thank you. We could stay. We gotta go. Bye, girl. You almost killed us. Well, well, I love this episode. It was a very good episode. I love this hook man thing. By the way, Supernatural is actually a very scary show. <laughs> if I was watching this live, like every single whenever it came out, I would be like, and if I was young, I would not be able to sleep. This was, it's actually a pretty on the edge type of show, which means it has like these jump scares. It definitely gets you being like, oh my God, what's gonna happen next? What's gonna happen next? And I, don't quote me, but is every single victim so far in every single episode always circled around a woman? Not that there's a problem with it. I'm just starting to realize there's always like the main, or am I wrong? Hmm. Well, no, The la one of the episodes dealt with the fathers, right, who killed the little boy. So it's just majority thus far deals with like a woman, right? Even, even to start off, 
kind of the well it was it was Dean and Sam's father no mother yeah so everything is pretty much ruined anyways no problem just saying I was observing so this is a very good episode once again this lady I don't know who she was Lori Laura whatever she was all over Sammy Amy Amy I am and I was like girl you need a backup like you are killing everybody and now you got him cut and you're still trying to get with him I'm not feeling you I'm not digging you at all and the whole time you are the reason why girl and you had the necklace around your neck and not even knowing anything I mean we're burning all this beautiful silver and it's just around your neck while you're getting my Sam I am I am I am's cut how dare you so I wasn't a fan of her but no shade great actress then we had Dean in this episode I was looking at him like ew hey Dean um I know I should just stick to what the movie or TV show is about but these men are just life liberty and justice y'all he was digging in that grave and I was I was wanting to be dead in the grave like dig me up um uh, dig me up sam or dean whoever either or <laughs> both of you guys grab a shovel um but it was it was really good so i really liked this episode so far i think i like i think i liked every single episode of this show once again if i could be able to put this show out more than once a week which it could be very possible after uh um house of dragons which comes out in june i'm just letting you guys know i am waiting v in the corner patiently um but that comes in june i think we're gonna be free for july and august i don't think anything really comes out um in july and august so then we could be be able to be pumping out a lot more tv shows i don't i and don't quote me watch a bunch of shows are gonna come out in july and august that i want to watch anyways this was once again an amazing episode i would give it a 10 out of 10. we got to see our boys solving this mystery i honestly thought it was gonna be the father who was the priest the priest or deacon whatever he was um who was the problem but it ended up being once again the daughter no shade also side note to the note of all notes is that that girl what's her name kate if that's not her name i think she looks like kate she was i was like girl like you over here like causing all these problems her man or boyfriend or date just got sliced and diced and hung above her car and then you over here talking about let's go to another party girl have some sympathy it was just a week ago anyways great episode thank you guys so much for being here once again before you get up and leave this reaction please hit that damn like button share and comment down below i will see you all next time with more reactions Bye.